Hi everybody. Uh, excuse my little messy abode here. We are getting ready to <clears throat> uh, continue weaving this mat. <laughs> this is a sleeping mat for being made for uh, persons who no longer uh, are currently without uh, shelter. So what this mat does is, uh, and mats like these, there are a lot of similar ways to make them. Some people are actually crocheting them. Uh, I've seen different types of weaving setups. Uh, what they do is they they help people keep uh, people from laying directly on the cold. Uh, the plastic bags are grocery bags, uh, like Walmart bags, Dollar General bags, um, stuff you might normally save and recycle. Um, this is recycling in a way that's upcycling for somebody to use. Um, and it also, because of it, the plastic, it is uh, lice free. You can't, you're not going to get, uh, lice can't live in it, uh, fleas can't live in it. The, it. the barrier that it creates from the cold ground can save lives. So even though everything around me is really messy right now, and I'm actually cold right now, I don't have central heat or air. So I'm using a space heater <laughs> and I've blocked off space, which is why you see this blanket. Uh, trying to maintain the cold. Uh, part of the reason that I have such a heart for this project is because I do know what it's like uh, to be cold even with a roof over my head. I can't imagine uh, what it would, what it's like to be outside in the element. Uh, I don't know how they survive because sometimes I just feel like just hibernating right in front of the heater like I can't move away from it or I'm gonna die. So <laughs> I don't know how people are, are uh, surviving. Uh, and so I have a lot of compassion uh, for this project and for the people who are going through such a, a tough time. So anyway, uh, that's what uh, I'm just sharing the video doing. Uh, I would like to uh, try to create a channel just just to see why not, you know. Um, maybe we can uh, start a community where I can show videos and we can have chat up and other people can be making mats. Uh, I can uh, maybe help instruct you in any way that I can and what I, the little I know about making uh, these types of mats. Uh, or we could talk about anything. Uh, part of uh, part of some of our struggles, whether, whether you have a home or not, is being alone. So I felt like, uh, why not give it a shot to create a little community? Uh, I've seen other people do it. A lot of, maybe they have a special talent, maybe they're glamorous. Uh, I'm just me. I'm just me. <laughs> uh, uh, just another human out here trying to, trying to cope with life. And uh, that's much easier when you have uh, a sense of community. Uh, I have a, I live in an amazing community actually around me. When I said I needed donations of bags, we created a honk and toss and people just like were just, tossing their bags and giving me the bags to get uh, to keep going with these projects because you think you got a lot of bags you think you got enough bags and guess what you don't so, <laughs> so you wind up you wind up stuck in the middle of a project which is how I wound up reaching out to my local uh, neighborhood here and they were amazing uh, and now I have currently I have uh, plenty of bags. I've already gone through the cutting process. Uh, if anybody's interested, I mean, I could show you how to do that. Uh, but if my headset will reach because I'm not on a wireless, uh, I will just, uh, just get started. I'll do a little bit of weaving and then I will close this out. This is just basically an introduction to what I'm hoping to create as a channel, a YouTube channel. Uh, I have 24 hours to wait before I can actually uh, do live streams. So this is just uh, me showing you just basic me, nothing special here, just like the rest of us. Uh, uh, well, I mean, some of us are more glamorous, some of us are more put together, uh, but just we're all human. On that level, that is a commonality we share. So, and that is what I hope to uh, share in chat and to hopefully be uplifting community together uh, and do live streams uh, whenever I can. So uh, I did create a Patreon channel, uh, a, a, a Patreon, uh, 
because I was told today that that's what people do. So why not? Let's do it. Uh, and if you are uh, willing and able, I have made tiers and talked about what those tiers are for. Currently, I am uh, unemployed, seeking employment. I had some medical issues and I had uh, just a bunch of uh, setbacks in life. And I've reached a point where I, I need to, it's time to, it's time to start getting back up and start fixing things with my, my health. Uh, I found a way that, uh, a means to start on that track. My family has been very helpful. Uh, and, and I've been almost like a, uh, I've been an abyss of, uh, a financial abyss to them and where they just feel like it's just, uh, for that a money pit <laughs> for my family. So I am I am seeing employment. I don't know how often, how long I'll be able to do these videos, if I'm gonna be able to continue, but why not try it? Why not get started? Uh, if I get employment, then these will all be for fun. Uh, a lot less, you know, just, the, I still think that it'll be fun to hang out, even if I get employed and, uh, which I have interviews coming up, so that's all good. Uh, hoping they don't see these because the uh, interviews I'm supposed to be, I have to put on the professional face, which I can, uh, if we have the clothing and we have the means to get clean, uh, any of us can, uh, put on the professional face. I mean, all of that is about, uh, it really is about how you present yourself right now. It's just me. This is just me as a human. Uh, no other special attire required, right? It's just me. So if we were friends, uh, this is how you would see me hanging out. Uh, well, maybe not with the robe on. We were somewhere a little bit warmer. Uh, so anyway, but that's what this is about. I say so anyway a lot because I'm talking to myself right now. I mean, I'm talking to you, but in here I'm talking to myself and I'm not used to that yet. So, <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna, uh, you're gonna probably just see my back here while I get started. Uh, like I said, these are, and I will see all of them here. Um, these are your grocery bags that have been donated uh, uh, these ones definitely have come from my very local neighborhood here uh, when they've gone shopping they provided these the, the uh, we had a church group that actually provided this loom my daughter has made her own loom she's participating in this project too uh, we have meetings that we go to people get together there's only like there was only like eight of us I don't know how many is going to be left after the holiday um, but it's cold. Uh, it's cold out there, and it's, it's not a good time to stop making these, I feel. Um, I wanted to take a break from this because it does it does consume uh, space. Uh, it does consume time and energy, uh, but it's definitely worth it. So uh, everybody was taking a break at the holidays, and... Uh, I felt guilty. <laughs> I did. So I felt guilty about uh, taking a break when it's starting to get. Hopefully, this. Yeah, you can tell me. I got a headset on. Um, taking a break in the holidays when everything is actually getting colder outside. Uh, but that didn't feel wonderful. Like I said, I know. I know what it's like to be cold. It's uh, not as cold. As they are, I really don't know how they survive it. I really don't. So, basically, what I'm doing here is now I'm, I'm weaving, I'm weaving the bag in and out of the warp, uh, creating the weave. So I'm just pulling uh, every other one. And I've created a pattern along here. I can go into detail on that if anybody wants to later. I'm just going to go ahead and weave and talk. I can't think of any jokes I've heard lately. I can't tell you a joke while I'm doing this, but I always like to hear jokes and to, to share jokes if I've heard them. Not not the memes, uh, I saw this on Facebook or I saw this on Twitter or I saw this on whatever, uh, but something that maybe we heard in person. Maybe it was a joke. Uh, somebody in our family had told us it didn't have, doesn't have to be yesterday because something maybe told you a joke a long time ago. The old fashioned in person joke. Uh, if I can. And then I'm just I'm just continuing to weave this through here. And I have all 
of these cut bags over here. I'll add them. I'm going to cut this video short. I'm just going to add this as an introductory. Uh, I guess I could have told you my name in the beginning if you haven't, haven't met me. Uh, my name is Linda. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you for taking a gander and um, hanging out just for a second and seeing what this is about. So I've just woven that piece through here. You try to keep as much air from going through here as possible. Now this one is the second half of uh, another mask. So they're gonna, you can't, from this, this will be connected to a, another mat this size to make one whole mat. So this is actually only half the mat. Um, where did I put the thing for myself? There we go. Then I'm going to grab just a random, this one doesn't have a particular pattern on it. These are the bags. We've cut the top and the bottom off so that they're no longer connected. They're just a, just a little loop like that. And then I just take them, wrap my hands in there, and I make a loop. You can see that? It's a loop. Then, I'm going to add this loop on. I don't have any special gear equipment. This is just my computer, my computer's webcam, and I put myself in front of it. <coughs> so now, that loop is now attached in there, and I can start weaving. So, and we've heard from, uh, and then I turn these in, uh, to a person who takes them to a place called the Connecting Grounds locally here, and they are handed out to uh, uh, people who don't have a home right now. Uh, the last the last meeting that I went to, uh, we turned to meet. There was a goal of getting for the group to get a hundred of these done to provide a hundred mats, and I think we had made it to. 67 at that time. Uh, when she, uh, one of the ladies had, the lady that turned them in, she said that the people, there was still six that day for the for the mats. There were still six people in need that current day of mats. Uh, and then there's another lady, uh, Susan, and our mat uh, that does the mat making and. She says she has a friend who had, was given one of these mats years ago. Uh, she's no longer, she's no, she no longer, she has a home now. Uh, she has for several years, but she's, since she received the mat like this, uh, she said it was life-saving uh, and she still keeps this mat. Uh, these are very, very special uh, things to provide. So uh, it's now a keepsake. And a reminder of that time in, in her life. So, um, it might not look like much, but it means a lot. Uh, and I recommend anybody who has a time or inclination to do this uh, to to make some map to see what they can do. Make a map. Uh, there are videos online to show you the specifics and in different ways of how to do this. Uh, some people prefer to crochet. Uh, when it comes to uh, being on the cold ground uh, or anything that will help, anything that will help is the better alternative. So uh, if you can provide anything to be helpful, I feel like that's a, a good deal. And I've already woven that in. So, and I can get another, I can get, I have a whole entire, oh, these are my randoms. I actually have sorted, I've sorted them out. Oops, I've sorted them out. Uh, these are my random bags, which is means that they're other than Walmart bags. Uh, or special color bags, like uh, special colors are amazing. We can get special colors. You can do grays, blacks, um, 
I had one colored one here. I had a red one that's on the other half of the mat, and then I had this color. I only had one, but I wanted to add that in there. So now, and then uh, we had some blue ones that were outdated uh, Boy Scout food donation bag. But this is basically all I do, and it actually, once you get started, uh, if you can devote uh, devote your time to it, like like concentrate on it without stopping, uh, you can get one done fairly quickly. I can usually, if I if I was doing it 100% of the time of my during my day, uh, without as if it were a job, then I could probably do uh, one full mat every every two days. Uh, but you can get it can get you can get burnt out if that's all you're doing. So uh, as you notice, I stopped. This is still hanging out here. If I wanted to take a break, if I needed to set it aside, if I had something else I wanted to do, uh, if I wanted to make my house more available for company, I could put all this stuff away. Uh, and it would be easy to just pick it up and restart. So that's not a, that's not a big deal. Uh, but I do feel pressure. I do feel a little pressure to, like I said, get these done because it's, if I'm cold, they're colder. <laughs> so I'm wearing the robe right now because well, it's the middle of the night and uh, it's helped keep me warm in here. So there about it that. And then I'll just continue until I get to right up here. These top rows can get a little tight, a little bit hard to do. Um, these can try to slip off. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. I don't know if it goes that high. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very rewarding thing to do. Um, so that's basically what we'll be doing on that. Uh, on the channel will be gaming. Because I do, I'm not a, I'm not a gaming expert. I, I need, I can't jump like so. Any obstacle type stuff, I push this button. I don't know what it is. I push the little left click button, and I never can jump high enough to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, uh, but I do like to game, so there are a lot of games that you don't have to jump, or maybe you can't jump in the game. So uh, maybe some of those, maybe doing just some some chatting. Uh, I'm gonna play it by ear. Why not? Uh, don't even, whether I get the patrons, that's great if I do. Uh, if I don't, I'll still keep trying to do it. Why not? Uh, as long as we can form a community of people that are uplifting each other. I believe in the power of the smile and, uh, and laughter, that laughter is healing. Uh, and that we shouldn't have to go through stuff completely alone. I enjoy my alone time. But it's totally different to be feeling like, you have no means of con being like if you if you don't have a job you get isolated. There's no need. There's no reason to be completely isolated uh, in this day and age when if you have access to the internet. Uh, so let's just hang out. I'm not hanging out in my old coffee shop anymore. Uh, not hanging out with a well a lot a lot of people have passed away too. So um, it's time to expand the horizon of. Uh, of community. That's what I think. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that you are, um, I hope that you're interested in hanging out later uh, as I do live streams where we can chat. I'm better, I'm much better at uh, chatting uh, spontaneously than trying to think about what to say without any sort of prompts. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you have a great day. I hope you're staying warm. Uh, and I hope that uh, you are, are not alone. So have a beautiful day.